Hey everyone and welcome back. Before we begin here today, please make sure that you like and subscribe because it really does help out our channel and it also helps us reach others who want to test their math skills with these types of test questions. So <clears throat> what we're going to do is that we are going to determine the area in green between these circles shown on the screen. And we are told that we have three equal circles of radius three centimeters that are touching each other. So we have circle A, B, and C with each a radius of three centimeters. Circle A and B only touch at point S, circles A and C only touch at point T, and B and C only touch at point U. So when you have three circles that are being aligned like this and only touching each other at one single point, and they're all of equal diameter or equal radius, when they are in this form, what you're going to get is you are going to get an equilateral triangle that is going to form between the centers of each of these circles. <clears throat> because the distance from A to B will be a total of six centimeters. The distance from B to C will be six centimeters. And I don't know why I'm writing six like that. And then A to C will also be six centimeters. And then point S is the center of that uh, leg from A to B. Point T is the center of that one. And then point U is the center of that one. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to find the area of this equilateral triangle that forms between all these circles. And then we can find the area of each little sector that is shown in white here, subtract that from the equilateral triangle, and then we can get our remaining area in green. So let's go ahead and get our equilateral triangle, which I'm just going to abbreviate it like this. We'll get that area, which the area for an equilateral triangle is just square root of 3 over 4 times your side uh, or your length of your side squared. So this would just be square root of three over four times our side, which is six centimeters. And once again, I don't know why I'm writing six like that, squared. So this area will pop out to be exactly nine square roots of three centimeters squared. Alrighty. So now we need the areas of each little circle, circle sector that are basically shown in white inside of the equilateral triangle. Now, the sector from AST is going to be equal to BSU and is also equal to CTU. Because we have an equilateral triangle here, all these sectors are going to be exactly the same because the radius for each of those circles is exactly the same. So it makes this problem very, very simplistic to solve when that happens. Well, what is the angle here for each of these? Well, since it's an equilateral triangle, each of these angles is going to be exactly 60 degrees. So what is the area of that sector? Well, it would just be what, how much is 60 degrees of a total circle, which means that is 1 6. So the area within the sector for each of these is going to be 1 6 of the total circle area. So that means that our area of our sector for just one of these sectors is going to be pi r squared over 6. Well, <clears throat> the area of our sectors are going to be, individual sectors for each of these, is going to be pi times the radius of that circle, which is just 3 centimeters squared, over 6, which gives me 3 pi over 2 centimeters squared. Well, we actually have three of them because all of them are going to be equal due to the equilateral triangle. So the area of all my sectors will just be the 3 pi over 2 times 3, which gives me just 9 pi over 2 centimeters squared. So now we have the area in blue for each of these sectors. And we have the overall equilateral triangle, the total area in there. So if we subtract this area of the, each of all the sectors combined, subtracting from the equilateral triangle area, we will get the area in green, which is just the remainder. So the area in green will be equal to my equilateral triangle area of nine square roots of three, subtracting off the area of all my sectors, which is nine pi over two. And if you want to, because this doesn't really come out to be a nice number, you could just leave that as that's your final area. Yay. Or you could actually simplify it out if you wanted to and approximate it. And it would be 
centimeters squared. Either one of these answers is acceptable, but in real world, you would probably leave it as 1.45 centimeters squared. So as I mentioned, that is just one. So this is just one way to solve uh, this problem. As with most of these uh, skill videos on, on the channel, there are multiple ways that you can go about solving problems. The ones that I show are not necessarily the best, not necessarily the fastest, not necessarily the longest. It is just one method showing you how it can be done. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned a new math skill from it. And if you wanna test your abilities even further, please check out other videos on our channel. Also, if you haven't done so already, please like this video, leave a positive comment below and subscribe to the channel because all of that does help us out. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a fantastic day.